The Nintendo Switch has launched worldwide, and yeah, I do own one. You can check that video out here or go check out Sonic Boom to see me unbox. However, if you check the eShop currently, there are only six games to choose from. And if you do the math, that's not a whole lot for a traditional console to launch. Well, one of those games is called Fast RMX, and it is basically the racing title of the Switch's launch. So, let's get to reviewing this game. So, the first thing I do have to point out is that this review will be very will be very short because this is a smaller video, but uh, rambling, I got called out for that. Let's get going. The first complaint I have is how this game has no tutorial. No, I'm serious. There is absolutely nothing for you when you start up the game except for a menu. So that's already a huge issue. Besides that, there isn't anything else to the menu besides it being a menu. Your only option when you start the game for the first time is an AI championship. You get to choose from three free cars, but you can unlock a lot more later on. Now it's time to talk racing. The actual gameplay, it's um... Well, it's um... It's uh... The actual racing experience is pretty boring. Why? The first big issue is actually that there is no strategy. It's all reflexes. You can switch. Ha! Huh? Oh my gosh, I'm so funny. Oh. Anyways, you can switch between two different colors and the boosters that boost you will only work if it's matching the color. Basically, the boosters have a color and you press a button and you switch to a different color. And if you're matching the color, you get a boost. If not, you just get left behind. Another issue is that the controls aren't very good. The biggest thing that I was excited for was motion controls in this game. Imagine turning the controllers and it turns in game. Well, this is a feature and I'm very let down. The motion controls are very oversensitive. When you turn, you just bash into walls and can barely control yourself. Other, other than that, the gameplay is nothing special. The whole reflex thing is okay if it was more, the whole reflex thing is okay if it was more of an indie style cheaper title than a 22 buck racing game. And honestly, that's really it. Now for the big part. Is this game actually worth the asking price tag of $20? Eh, not really, no. I think maybe 15 tops would have been fine. But the asking price is just too high. However, that doesn't mean this game is bad. In fact, I would say that this game is not too terrible. It's just the asking price is way too high. One of my favorite features about this game is actually how you have a lawn. One of my favorite features about this game is how much of a variety. One of my favorite features about this game is how much of a variety you have to choose from, like cars and like courses. And it's that's pretty nice, and it's a very long game. But what are your thoughts on this? Also, please remember to tell me anything that would help me in the comment section. Alright guys, see you.